Hello guys, today we going to present the time management assignment. And in this assignment, we are interviewing four successful individuals. Um, our team members are Gonput, Nadanai, Natawat, and Travis. So let's move on into the, our agenda. So uh, as you can see here in our table of contents, we have uh, four interviewees in total, and we will end it with the habits or the strategies to adopt and what we think is useful. So the first interview with Mr. Natapong Masukun, he is an entrepreneur and a jeweler. Um, he works his own business, uh, Andre Jade, and his daily to-do is to design jewelries, contact uh, with clients, and contact the handyman who makes these jewelries. So uh, we have interviewed him and asked him what um, the strategies he have in terms of time management. He said that he has a to-do list and he would put um, his agenda in his calendar, what clients he have to meet, what uh, meetings he has with his um, handyman and all his clients. And he has left us with a nice little quote um, regarding the time management skill. He said, a key difference between being mediocre and excellent is an outstanding time management skills. So next up, we have interviewee number two, Mr. Supachai Viset Paitun. He is a senior vice president of CP Match. And for his task, his daily task is to lead the team to search, um, reach like company goals, manage employees to increase their efficiency. Uh, he set up visions and direction for the company as the uh, manager. And he also designed a workflow for the team as well. Uh, so as you can imagine, he leads a very busy life. So um, pretty much he has a very skilled when it comes to um, time management skills. So next slide, please. So when asked about um, time management skills like and tools and mindset on work-life balance, uh, Mr. Supershai says that priority is key. Um, and he, us he usually tackles large tasks first, then do smaller ones. As for the tools he used um, in his work, he will use um, Google calendars and other Google workspace related applications such as like Drive to help with the organization of his team and also like other applications like um, Microsoft Teams and like meet meetups and whatnot. So um, on the topic of priority setting, he says that he sets the priority as to like work, the hierarchy being work and then family, then social and then him, um, time for himself for self-improvement. So, yep. Uh, for our third interviewee, I'll be talking about Mr. Chayo Narwarpong. Uh, Mr. Narwarpong has a business and finance management degree. He specializes in business development, uh, strategy, strategy and management, sales operations strategies and training, marketing research strategies and management, and customer insight and product development. Next slide, please. Uh, for his working experience, he has previously worked with uh, S.E. Johnson, known for their uh, cleanings and houseware products such as Mr. Muscles, uh, Windex, and Ziploc. He then moved on to Me Johnson's, uh, responsible for pediatrics and uh, infant products, and Thai Vegetable Oil Public Company and Nike Golf, which is self-explanatory. And then General Beverage, known for their products such as IF and uh, Vitamin C drinks. And then Tana Groups, known for their restaurant chains such as Fuji and Coco Ishibanya. And next slide, please. And for his advice on time management, first he stated that you should start now. Luck is what happens when preparations meet opportunity, so always be prepared. The next one is the simplest solutions might be the most practical solutions. And obviously simple solutions is what save time and cost. And then uh, the next one is instructions is a guide and not a law. So you can use it as a guide, but you don't really have to follow it to a T. Always try to find a way to do it quicker and more efficient. And next, the last one is uh, experience will teach you uh, priorities which means that the more you learn, the more you know what you need to do first. And that's about it. And for our fourth interviewee, we have um, Mrs. Anuchana Shawanaprisha. So uh, she is the co-owner of 
a bed and breakfast called Ban Or Pin in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And uh, she's also a full-time mother of three. And um, so for her daily to-do tasks, she uh, manages rooms and guests' bookings and assign works to her uh, employees. She also has to uh, greet and welcome returning guests uh, that are frequent the bed and breakfast. Next slide, please. As for her time management, she says to um, set up the to-do list or schedule to revolve around your work if your work takes priority. But however, she also emphasizes that personal life is important and should not be neglected and uh, there should be a good amount of work-life balance. She also says to use ratings um, to prioritize. For her, she prioritizes her children the most uh, and then following that is her work. And the final advice she gave was to, um, if you're struggling or procrastinating, to start small and give one task a small amount of time. And when you start something, you might wanna finish it later in the end. And I will just go to move on to tips or strategies that we have adopted from our intuitions that we think would be useful in our daily life. Um, start off with me. Um, I would get a grip of what I do at the moment and finish the task on a given time. Um, as for me, I feel like setting up a list of priorities is a key to success, uh, especially in time management. And also uh, what I learned is that preparation is also important to tackle the most important to the least important task. And for me, uh, whatever I aim to do, I'll have to start now. And sometimes I'll try to find us more simple solutions instead of thinking way too much. And also I'll try to gain experience because it will teach me priorities. And for me, um, just know what takes priority and then discard everything else. It might sound a bit extreme, but if you know what really means to you and what you want to do in life, then just um, go for that full ahead and uh, some sacrifices may need to be made. Thank you.